envelope eh? ukitoka tu hivi upewe yako ka envelope unasikia ngaro huyu inasema hallelujah Hi guys, what are you doing? I hope you're doing well. On my side, I am doing fantastic well. My name is Winnie James, if you're new here. And karibu sana to Triple FL. Here we talk about fashion, food, fitness, and lifestyle. And in today's video, or rather, uh, the video that you're about to watch, it's a video I did 2008. Vile nilifanya first album, my first album. When I'm Jesus, I'm a Jew, I'm a musician, a tasting gospel, yes. So I did um, an interview with uh, Esther Wahome. Back in the days, I was a show ya Shangilia, Sijui kama ulikuwa na ijua, Citizen um, TV. So I did my very, very, very first, this one, it's my very, very first um, interview. I did my very first TV. Um, na niliambiwa lazima tuongee Kiswahili sanifu. So taniambia kama niliweza ama sikuweza. So yeah, this video uh, vile nilifanya hii video uh, funny enough of how people take music industry or rather when they see people on TV, <laughs> the perception when people see you on TV ni ati wewe sasa you ume, ume make it in life. So, vile nilifanya hii video ama vile nilifanya hii interview tulifanya na Esther wa home mwenye thank you so much Esther hmm? for giving me this chance ya kufanya ya nikiwa msani mdogo sana nikiwa msani mwenye hata ajui what really happens in the industry and you gave me a chance ya kupata hiyo exposure because vile nilifanya hii interview nilianza kupata uh, invitations za churches kuja uimbe na siku anaenda kuiba bure uko unaenda alafu eh wewe unatoka tu hivi unapatiwa envelope eh unajua ka envelope hapo vile nikatamwa sana sana hako ka envelope kama wewe ni musician unajua hako ka envelope eh ukitoka tu hivi upewe hako ka envelope unasikia ngaro huyu inasema haleluya mm? yes so that is basically what happened that time um ilikuwa inakaa kama ndio joy bring us hiyo shangilia mtu alikuwa anaonekana akiwa juu i remember uh, like paul paul moi came to a shop mali nilikuwa ninafanya uh, job akaona hiyo video akaniambia we aki wini the next time i am doing a video nataka kufanya video mzuri kama wewe na nikamwambia ni Mungu tu anafikishanga watu hapo na as a man think so is he and the next video alifanya alienda tu viral eh ali hit tu mara moja akaenda akiendanga so yeah citizen walipatia chance so asante sana citizen tv and here we are so those days music was different it is not like today akukuwa na vitu kama youtube uh, um, i mean hata kama zikikiwa hazikuwa famous kama vile today youtube iko famous and kila kitu ni youtube so if you tell someone you're a musician anakuuliza songs zako ziko youtube uh, yeah so yes uh, so the, then tulikuwa tunauza cds uh, vcds na dvds so vcds tulikuwa tunauza 250 saizi najua hata 20 bob wananunua wale watu wanafanya pirates eh, yeah so uh is days we hatungetoshea kwa tv na hakukuwa na stations mingi za kufu, kama vile tuko na stations mingi today we have lots lots of uh, stations za kikuyu uh, za kizungu za kiswahili all over so muziki yako inaweza fikika saa hizi sana either ni mzuri ama si mzuri but hakuna muziki yenye tunaweza sema mbaya maybe tuseme message inaweza kuwa na utofauti so yeah so saa hizi unaweza kufanya muziki na ichezwe kwa tv asap kwa sababu tuko na um, tuko na stations mingi sana zenye zinafanya muziki na zinataka muziki kila siku na zinataka kucheza muziki kila siku presenters then haunga wafikia eh? ulikuwa tu unawaona kwa tv mpaka njia ya kuwafikia hakukuwa na hizi vitu um, za social media vitu kama facebook hazikuwa so famous zilikuanga tu ndio zimeanzaaza so 
kuwafikia ilikuwa ni ngumu sana sasa hizi ukitaka kufikia mtu inakuwa ni rahisi sana because you even interacting with them kwa platforms zao so yeah basically that what happened it was a, a big platform and a, uh, an opportunity yenye ilinisaidia kimuziki angalau ni kama nilififia kimuziki so yeah enjoy my video uh, karibu sana so kama uja subscribe subscribe to my channel karibu sana wini Asanti. Asanti kwa kuja. Asanti. Umekaribishwa. Nashukuru. Tuambie hasa majina yako ni nani? Uh, majina yangu kamili ni Wini Wangui Mwangi. Okay. Ulianza kuimba lini na uko na nyimbo ngapi? Uko na albums ngapi ama ni vipi? Niseme nilianza kuimba kwanza uimbaji nilianza kutoka nilikuwa mtoto mdogo. Okay. Lakini ku record ni record tu uh, mwaka last year. Okay. Ndio nilirecorda album yangu ya kwanza ambayo inaitwa Wanitosha. Amen. Ya kwa sababu Mungu anatosha. Amen. Na bona ukachagua kuimba nyimbo za injili. Ni kwa sababu injili Kristo uh, alisema ya kwamba tuondoke twende kote injini, mm -hmm. twende tukahubiri injili mm -hmm. ili watu wapate kuelewa. Mm -hmm. ku, kujua ukweli na kujua neno la Mungu kupitia uimbaji. Katika huu wimbo wako unaosema kuwa una unamuonea Bwana Q. Mm -hmm. Ni sababu gani ukawa katika hiyo hali ya kumuonea Bwana Q au kumtarajia kwa njia kuu namna hii? ni kwa sababu kumu, uh, kama jinsi Daudi alivyosema kwamba anamuonea kiu bwana mm -hmm. uh, uh, nilisikia kama jinsi ayala aionea hiyo kiu maji ya mito mm -hmm. pia roho yangu ili, ilitamani kumuonea Mungu kiu mm -hmm. kwa sababu wakati unapokuwa na kiu ya maji hawezi mm -hmm. kunywa soda ili utosheleke lazima ukunywe maji ili upate kutosheleka kabisa mm -hmm. kwa hivyo nao wakati unamtamani Mungu mm -hmm. lazima umuhitaji kabisa umuonee kiu umtafute ili akuje akutosheleshe katika maisha yako. Ukilinganisha vile mambo ilikuwa katika uwanja wa nyimbo za injili hapo kitambo na saa hii mm. unaona tofauti gani? Naweza sema tumeendelea kwa sababu watu wameinuka sana. Okay. Wale watu ambao wanaimba siku hizi nyimbo za kumwabudu Mungu, mm. wanaimba nyimbo ambazo zina uh, message mzuri sana. Na katika uwanja wa nyimbo za injili kuna changamoto zozote ambazo umekumbana nazo. Uh, tuseme sijakaa sana katika uimbaji ui sana katika hii uh, hii uimbaji sana nilianza tu juzi mm -hmm. na jinsi ninaona inavyoendelea si mbaya mm -hmm. uh, lakini kuna vile unaenda unapata una kwa sababu watu hawakujui sana yeah. sasa unakuwa uko na kazi ngumu sana mm -hmm. ya, ya kufanya kufanya uimbaji ili watu wapate kukujua kila mwanzo uko na mwisho yeah. na mwanzo wetu ni mwanzo mzuri mm. kwa sababu tuko na Mungu anatusaidia yeah. na sasa wewe kama kijana uko na mawaidha gani kwa vijana ninaweza sema kwamba wale watu ambao ni vijana ama watu ambao wanainuka kuanza uimbaji saa hizi naweza waambia wasiimbe ni kwa sababu ya pesa mm -hmm. lakini waimbe ili watu wapate kumjua Mungu na wapate Amen. kujuana na Mungu wale wengi kwa sababu watu wanapenda mziki. Amen. kwa hivyo mtu anaweza kosa kwenda kanisani kusikiza injili mm -hmm. lakini atasikiza wimbo mm -hmm. na atapata kujua Mungu Amen. katika kanuni za Mungu tunaona kuwa Mungu ako na mipango mingi juu yetu mm. wewe unaona mipango ya Mungu uh, juu yetu iko namna gani Mungu anao mipango mizuri katika maisha yetu mm -hmm. kwa sababu Biblia inasema kwamba ati uh, zile mipango ambazo Mungu ako kat, uh, nazo katika maisha yetu mm. si mipango mbaya mm. bali ni mipango mizuri mm. ya sisi kuendelea na kunawili katika maisha Amen. Asanti sana wini kwa kuja hakika tumebarikiwa na tunakuombea ukaendelee kumuonea bwana Q kwa sababu kimuonea Q hakika atakuonekania katika maisha yako Amen. atakubariki Amen. atakuinua Amen. asanti kwa kuja e, mungu akubariki sana Bariki asanti Thank you so much guys for watching. I, I hope uh, you enjoyed hiyo uh, journey yangu ya muziki. Comment below how I did it in Swahili trying Swahili sanefu. God bless you. See you on the next video. I love you if you're not subscribed. Please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. See you on the next video. I love you. Mwah.